Here is a testimonial for the highest paid part-time job in the world from Katrina Alexander. So I'm approaching three years in this academy. All of my accounts have increased trading, investments, business, and personal accounts. This academy can produce results in all areas of your life when you do the work. Yes, you have to work on your psychology and mindset to get the results. We can start market talk for March 10th, 2024. Looking at March seasonality, what we're looking for as we get ready to come out of the month is to become a little bit more bullish. And we may see that based on earnings this week, also by the FOMC meeting next week as we get ready to get closer to the end of the month. So that's something that we want to look for. We also have CPI and PPI coming out early this week and also midweek. So we're going to maybe look for some data drops based on that. Could it give us some indicators that we're getting ready to turn bullish as we get ready to leave the month of March? Looking at the economic calendar, we see that we have core CPI, CPI year over year coming out on Tuesday, Wednesday, nothing scheduled. Then Thursday, we got core PPI, PPI year over year. And then we also have some import pricing coming out on Friday. So really big week for data Then we know we have FOMC next week. So we're going to get these data drops. People are going to try to take this information and lead into what they think the Fed's going to talk about next week. Looking at the earnings for this week, starting with Monday after close, definitely going to be looking at Oracle and Asana. Tuesday before open, ADM to me is going to be a big earnings. Kohl's also, Tuesday after close, Clover, All Birds. Don't forget about Manchester United. I don't know, have they gotten that team sold off yet? I don't know, I've really been following that. That's going to be Tuesday before open also. Wednesday before open, Dollar Tree. ZIM, after close, Lennar and Sentinel One, Valco Energy, Wednesday after close, then Thursday, Dollar General, Dix, Futa, Canadian Solar. After close on Thursday, Adobe is going to be really big earnings, and also Ulta is going to be really big earnings. I like the earnings for this week. A lot of really good consumer brands in there. Definitely going to be looking at Adobe and their guidance around creating AI applications that can expand and draw more revenue into their business. So I like this week for earnings. Okay, looking at the SPY. And what we're currently looking at is a two-year view on weekly candles. And what we're seeing is that since around October of last year, we've been moving in a very, very bullish pattern on the weekly closes. So now even though we had our weekly close this week on a red candle, and it was a very tight range, if you look at this particular pattern, it's just been very bullish. So we are getting some volatility on the daily, but the weekly candles are still continuing to close green and we can still continue to move up. So now if we go back to the yearly view, we're going to see a little bit more volatility. However, we're still moving up in a really, really strong direction. We get starting in November and just starting to move up. Now going to the queues, we did go back and almost retrace back down and touch that support level at around 439. And that's good. We want to determine if we're going to continue to move up off of that or because we're seeing a little bit of selling in tech, will tech somewhat sell off. But if we go back again to the two year, what are we seeing around October, let's say November of last year? Bullish pattern moving up. So we did have a weekly close on. We did have a weekly red close, a little bit of a wider range in pricing, but the pattern is still bullish. And that's what I'm going to continue to look for until I see something that is giving me an indication that we're going to start moving into a bearish pattern. Personally, I'm still bullish on the market. What I'm going to look for today is whether or not the CPI information is in line with the market expectations. The same thing with the PPI. And then next week, we get ready to roll into FOMC week. That's pretty much going to be it. We got the data. The data is going to kind of determine people's sentiment of the market. I don't think the data is going to surprise anybody. I think they're going to come out very conservative with the expectations and look for it to be more upside. And when I say upside, I mean be more positive. And then we're going to just take it from there. Hope you got some value from it. David W. Williams, also known as Diamond Dave. I'll talk to you later.